right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a pattern that you have drafted in Adobe Illustrator, or perhaps you've traced it and scaled it up like I did here, and make it so that you can print the pattern off on the 8.5 by 11 sheets of paper, uh, you know, standard printer size. So the first thing I want to discuss is this little box here. It's basically my test square and also the square I used for scaling this thing up. So I'm just going to zoom in on it. I'm going to press Command Plus to zoom in. And as you can see, it's a 2 by 2 inch square. I'm going to set this up so I'm going to show you the grid. So I'm going to go to View, Show Grid. And as you can see, it measures exactly 2 by 2. So this is going to ensure that my when I print my pattern, it's going to print to the correct size that I drafted it in. All right, so if you want to make this square, um, if you're in the end stages of your pattern and you just need to add a, um, a square, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to Rectangle Tool. And by the way, when you set, first of all, I guess I should discuss the um, setup. So Illustrator Preferences, Guides and Grid. Under Guides and Grid, you're going to uh, put your guide line or your grid line every one inch, subdivision every eight, and that makes it so that it's like one of those uh, pattern drafting rulers. So yeah, you could draft your pattern properly like this. So anyways, you want to make your square after you have your uh, your grids showing. You're going to click on a part. And by the way, you're also going to want to make sure that snap to grid is checked so everything will snap properly. So you click on a corner and then you go two inches by two inches. Oops, and then you hit OK. And by the way, the, my square needs to be moved over here. We're not going to keep this one anyway, but um, yeah. So now you have a two inch by two inch square, and I have this filled with black. And when you print this off, it'll um, it'll prove that your measurement is correct or incorrect. So you've got your square, but we don't need that anymore because, like I said, we already have one down here. And delete it. And now I'm going to zoom out, and I'm going to go to View, and I'm going to go to Hide Grid, because we don't really need that anymore. Now here comes the fun part, where we set it up for printing. So we're going to go to File, New, and we're going to have this document, new document set up. So you want to make sure you select an amount of artboards, that is going to uh, fit your pattern. I tend to overestimate because I find if you overestimate you can just delete the artboards and it's pretty simple. Um, spacing, you have to set it to zero. Make sure you set the spacing to zero. Columns, it doesn't really matter but I did three. Uh, size, now this is going to be the size of paper that you're going to be printing on and mine is letter so eight and a half by eleven. If you're printing on A4 then select A4. But yeah, it's important that you select size letter and your spacing set to zero and you overestimate on the artboards. By the way, that's my dog playing in the background. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK. And now you see that I have these, basically these sheets of paper all lined up like a grid. And this is um, the sheets of paper that your pattern is going to print on. So what you're going to do here is you're going to go to your pattern select your big selection tool, grab your pattern, and drag it over to this new file and drop. Now this is almost going to be like when you uh, try and calculate yard or when they try and calculate yardage. So you want to make sure that your pattern fits onto fewest amounts or fewest um, number of paper as possible or yeah pieces of paper as possible. So yeah try not to to get too close to the edges when you're doing this. Make sure it lines up nicely. Okay. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Now, the next thing you want to add is some markers so that when you cut this out, everything will line up. Um, I just going to use rectangle it doesn't matter what you use, you could use, you know, I've seen people using pictures of hearts or flowers or whatever, just as long as it, you know, helps everything line up. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to put 
one right up in the corner here. And I want to make sure that this aligns properly. Okay. Oh. Move it down a little bit. Oops. There. Let's see how that's looking. That's looking okay. I'm going to select it and I'm going to go Apple Copy and then Apple V. And I'm going to do another one at the bottom of the page here. There. And then I'm going to do Apple Copy, Apple V. And then I'm going to do one right in the middle of the pattern. I find this pretty useful for when you're cutting this all out. Okay, let's make sure it looks all right. It looks not too bad. And by the way, if you have your pattern um, so that it's on more than two pieces of paper, so say it's on four, you definitely want to put something in the middle to line everything up. So now we're going to um, delete the artboards that we don't need. So we're going to go to Document Setup, Edit Artboards and then click on each artboard and hit delete. And so now we're done and we have our document all ready to print. Now, this is where um, you could just print it like this, but it's gonna be a little bit difficult. So um, you're gonna wanna actually save it as a PDF. So file, save as, and let's just title it Sloper Test. Um, video and we're going to want to do a format of a PDF so it's going to be saved in my documents folder and then I'm going to hit save now this box will pop up you could unclick all of these it'll make your file smaller but it really doesn't matter so save PDF hey puppy anyways and then after you've saved it, you're going to go under Documents and you're going to find it. So mine is here. I've already done this one here. Okay, so I have my my uh, sloper up here. So as you can see, it's on two pages. One, two. Now, here's the fun part. This is where you get a print. So you go to Print, and the Print dialog box comes up. You want to make sure it's on scale and not scale to fit because if it's on scale to fit, it won't work. You're basically going to have it print out and it'll look slightly all right, but then when you measure your test square, you're going to notice you're a little off. So make sure it's set to scale and then you hit print and that is how you print your file or your um, the pattern that you made in Adobe Illustrator. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments box below. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm planning on doing a couple more videos on how to draft patterns in Illustrator and whatnot. So thank you for watching. And um, if you have any suggestions, again, leave them in the comments box. And please like my video.